Hi guys and welcome to the Diamonds and Denim YouTube page. Um, this is part of Sony September. This is actually the last video for Sony September. But before I get into the product, I want to do a little life update. I've never done that before, but I've been watching YouTubers and I see a lot of them do that just randomly. So I haven't posted a video in a while. I haven't shot a video in an even longer while. And I want to kind of tell y'all why. Since the trial is short, I'm going to attach the life update to this. So uh, I took my Tums at like 12. No, I took Advil because I also had a headache. So I took Advil. Um, my headache went away, but my chest started hurting really, really bad. I thought maybe one of the pills went down wrong and got stuck or something. And that's what was causing me the discomfort. So fine. That was 12. By 2 o'clock, uh, I was asking everybody at work. I was like, does anybody have Tums or Zantac or something I could take? to help with this heartburn. I have such bad heartburn. And everyone's asking me, you know, you never have heartburn. What's going on? And I was like, I have no idea, but it hurts really, really bad. So fine. That was at two o'clock. So from two to 12, I was in pain my whole last class, drove home in pain. I called my mom and I was like, mom, how long is heartburn supposed to last? Cause I, she's older than me. So I know she, I figured she dealt with it before. She's like, just when you get home, take some times. And if you call me, I'll bring Zantac. Cause we're going to go eat dinner around your house later. Cool. Fine. So that's fine. So she came over, she brought the Zantac. Now it's like five o'clock and she's like, you look really bad. Like, are you sure it's heartburn? And I said, yeah, I'm sure it's gotta be. I don't know what else it could be because I feel it all in my throat. So they go to dinner, they come back like seven, eight o'clock and she's like, do you want to go to the hospital? Cause heartburn should be over by now. There's no way it should take that long. So even though I hate going to the hospital because I hate running up a bill, I hate IVs, I can't stand the hospital because I'm used to them with my migraines, so I hate going. So I'm like, yeah, because I don't know what's wrong, but I'm not going to be able to sleep. I'm not going to go to work if this won't go away. So we get to the hospital. Fine. On the way, I start crying because it just it was hurting now to like breathe. I couldn't take a deep breath. It was so painful. So I'm crying. As soon as I get back there, they do an, um, an EKG because when your chest hurts, they take you straight thinking it's your heart. So I went over there, they did that, nothing was wrong. Blood pressure was a little bit high, but nothing was wrong that they could see. They uh, finally, I sit there for a little while, just crying my eyes out because my chest isn't like every, and then when you're crying, of course, when you cry, you take a deep breath. I'm like, <laughs> when I would do that inhale, it hurts so bad. I mean, y'all, I, I have migraines. I have never, it's been a long time since I felt something that painful. There, they took me into the back, uh, they did, um, I told them what the problem was. So they gave me this, what was called a GI cocktail, thinking it was something gastro. So we did that. The guy comes back to check. He's like, how are you feeling? I'm like, I don't feel any difference whatsoever. Nothing. Fine. He's like, okay, well, something else is wrong. We're going to take you to an x-ray. Fine. I go do the x-ray. Of course, they don't see anything wrong with my chest. I'm like, okay, cool. They do the x-ray from like here up. So nothing's wrong with my chest. Fine. They send me back. They still want to know what's wrong. They give me another thing that was supposed to numb my throat so that that burning would stop. They give me the thing to numb my throat. It isn't working again. I'm like, sir, I don't know what this is that y'all keep testing on me, but it's not working. So I was like, y'all need to find something else. They leave. They come back with a uh, pain medicine just to get the pain to stop. Fine. They give me the pain medicine. Of course, finally, for the first time in two days, I get to go to sleep. So I go to sleep. I'm sleeping really hard or whatever apparently and i was getting bits and pieces of it because i wake up look around go back to sleep a ruling ultrasound machine so they take the little thing and i felt them put the cold stuff on my side but i didn't know what it was about so i'm showing them where it hurts and they say okay that sounds like your gallbladder the doctor's sitting there counting three big gallstones okay the size of golf balls in my gallbladder now, I've never had issues with my gallbladder before as long as I've been alive. So it's not something I checked on a regular or anything like that. Yes. Yeah, so one of the gallstones had moved up into the little pipe where your stomach acid goes through. And it was stuck. So the stomach acid wasn't going down. It was building all the way up. So my mom, of course, I don't remember what happens from point A to point B. But my mom, we're walking out of the hospital. She's rolling me in my little wheelchair. Cause they wanted me to take a wheelchair because it was so bad they didn't want me to walk so i took a wheelchair they're rolling me to the car and my mom goes so tomorrow we need to call and make an appointment with a surgeon i'm like would be she's like yeah your gallstones are really big and really bad they wanted to do it tonight but they couldn't get in touch with the surgeon so they recommended this particular surgeon i'm talking to my mom about it. i'm like i don't want to have surgery i've never had surgery in my life she's like well you can either have surgery or you can deal with this for the rest of your life fine so of course the pain was so 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 bad 
that I was like, cool, whatever. We get home at like maybe four o'clock to my mom's house at four o'clock. I have to call work and tell them I won't be coming in the next day, which y'all, I freaking hate to miss work. But again, it's 4 a.m. by the time I get home and then I have to try to uh, get in touch with the surgeon immediately the next day. So I call the surgeon. I have to go in and talk to the surgeon. So the Thursday I go and talk to the surgeon. I go to the doctor Thursday, we schedule the surgery for Monday, Monday. So I'm freaking out the whole rest of the time because again, I've never had surgery. I'm missing work all this time. My students are missing me, I miss them and I can't go in because I can't even walk. So fine, go do the surgery. Surgery was great, the people at the hospital were awesome. It was a good, it was, as far as surgery goes, I assume it was a good experience, it, was, it wasn't bad at all. Get home, I thought the pain from the, from the heartburn was bad. Freaking pain after surgery that I'm still dealing with now, that's literally why I'm in a sweatshirt. I'm sitting down to do this tutorial and I have to keep going sit down because it's like really bad. Like I keep having to stop, go sit down, lay down, get back up, shoot again, get back down, lay down. It's kind of a lot, but I have all these things to test and I don't want them to get old before I get to you to, to, to test them. So. Even now, like I'm kind of in pain right now. I'm gonna take some medicine when I get off of this thing and go to bed pretty much. But um, so it, it was just, I mean, just the pain of getting in and out of bed is really bad. Like it's really hard because the thing is they cut you all right here, like your abdomen. So anywhere that you need to bend your core is gonna hurt. So getting in and out of bed is horrible. Using the bathroom the first couple days was terrible. You can't eat a lot of things. I couldn't even sleep on my side, which I always had to sleep flat on my back. And when you wake up from sleeping, it's horrible because you get stiff. It was just, y'all, I've never, like I know growing up when people would say, you know, so-and-so was sick, they missed work, but they really wanna be here. I'd be like, oh my God, you're so lying. You're so glad you had that vacation. I understand now, it's terrible. I would so much rather be, I mean, I, with my kids at work than being here just staring at four walls all day. Because the thing is, when you're sick, it's not like you're home chilling and going to your nails and going to see movies and stuff. Like you're home, but you're in bed. Like I can't do anything. It's rough. I went, me and my mom, she tried to take me to a couple stores to test to see if I'd be ready to go back to work. And like, I mean, just Ulta, which is my happy place. I went to Ulta, I was in so much pain. It was really, really bad. I went back to the doctor. I was supposed to go back to work um, a couple days ago, but after the trip, and I went to the doctor again to kind of talk to him about it, and he was like, you're not, if you can't walk, he was like, I'm looking at you right now. There's no way you can go back to work. I couldn't really walk. I can't stand up straight. I can't pick Louie up. I can't carry more than 20 pounds. I walk for like, um, like 10 minutes, then I have to go lay down. Like my mom's been awesome. She's like, she's got to bring me food. I can't really walk up and down the stairs. Thank God I get to sit in this chair. I <sighs> just wanted to kind of give you an update on why I haven't been able to uh, post anything. So that's the reason why I had to have gallbladder surgery. It was hard. It's much, much better now. It still sucks, but it's much better now. Like I know it's for the better and I know I, I feel much better now. And I know if I take it easy, I'll feel better. So the last installment of Sony September is going to be on the, I'm gonna switch gears major here. Um, it's gonna be on the Pure Correcting Primer Illuminate and Glow. So this is the package. I got this on vacation last year in Gulf Shores at a TJ Maxx. It retails for $26, I got it for $10. Um, so this is what I use today to prime my look. And uh, this is it, this is what it looks like. This is what the finish, this is all my makeup done already and everything looks like. So. If you want to see what I think about this product or how I used it to get this look, you can just keep on watching. Let's get to the test out now. Let me say this. I don't have that many pure products. Give dull, tired, and aging skin an instant dose of brilliance and hydration. This illuminating primer corrects the appearances of lines, wrinkles, and imperfections with age-defying keratin complex plus key vitamins and antioxidants. Smooth onto clean, moisturized skin allow to dry then follow up with your favorite pure foundation not open it up oh look on the top it says it too it says pure y'all can't see because the light i hate this light sometimes we have such a bad relationship mean this light so it says pure correcting primer i just like the little y'all know how i like little added touches like on the top on the side nothing on the inside oh wow it's cool so this is the primer itself the correcting primer illuminating glow 
it's pretty. I mean, Pure has a very simple, like, all their stuff is always like that. Super, super simple. It's not, oh, it's not a lot of junk. Like, it's not a lot of, you know, hoopla. It's just like, here we are to make your face pretty and let's roll with it. So, before we get into it, I want to talk about primers because primers get so short a uh, beauty product but it's an important part of your step primer is the most important thing to me because primer is what can mess you up if you start from the beginning and you don't have a good primer your makeup isn't going to sit well it's not going to stick it's not going to smooth on so you need to make sure that you're really looking into primers i know a lot of people that just jump right over the primer if you have to skip something don't skip the primer i would skip i mean damn i'd skip like a actual makeup product first like I skip like a, a setting powder or something before I skip a primer because primer is the one thing that can mess up your whole thing from the beginning so make sure that you're doing what you need to do as far as primer is concerned let's move on to clean moisturized skin so okay this is our little bottle <sighs> okay so a little squeeze out I like a pump but you know whatever so let's see what it looks like okay so this is what it looks like. It feels very smooth. I like that it's got like um, vitamins in it and it is very hydrating. I can just feel it as I'm putting it on my face right now. It's very hydrating. It kind of reminds me of the Becca first priming light filter. That, the one I did on here a while back and it was the same thing. It was like a pearl like luminized thing. So y'all can actually see looking at my face now the glow it has already, like I just put it on. I let it, I'm gonna push it in my skin before I start applying my moisturizer, my foundation and all that. But I mean, y'all can see, and I always do this too, just to really push that primer into my skin. And it's so soft. Um, I'm gonna go and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be back at the end to tell y'all what I think and to let y'all know if it gets a diamond or not. It's really, okay, so this is the finished look. Um. The Pure Correcting Primer Illuminate and Glow. Am I giving it a diamond or not? Okay, so here's the thing. First of all, primers, as I mentioned earlier, primers are really, really, really important to your look because it can make or break your look. If you put a primer on and your rest and the rest of your makeup sits on top of it or something like that, it can really like mess your whole thing up. This is uh so this this uh this pure correcting primer, again I got it for 10 bucks, it retails for 26 bucks. Am I going to give it a diamond? I mean, it helped my makeup go on pretty smooth. I don't really see much of a difference in the shimmer, but I mean, I put on a blinding highlight, so it's hard to tell now. But my makeup set really well on top of it. It gave me a bit of a smoothing effect. So yeah, I'll give it a diamond. I mean, it's not my favorite primer, but it's certainly not a bad primer. It's just, I mean, Pure is not a brand that I use a lot. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it, it gets a diamond. It does what it's supposed to do as a primer. Um, I'll try it again another time and let y'all know. I mean, it's lasted now. I had it on like three, four hours. And it lasted through my application. It lasted through me talking a lot and me doing all the rest of that stuff. So I like products that make you look really fresh. And this one, like I said, it's super soft. I don't know if it, it's supposed to be infused with vitamins. Yeah, age defined, keratin complex. So yeah, I like it. It's a, it's a good primer. It's, it, it works. It works. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me on the last edition of Sony September. Uh, you can get in touch with me through social media. You can go ahead and wait until the end. The last frame is going to be on my social media. Um, you can uh, read the blog below that has the blog post. I'm going to list it below so that you can see more information about this, including where to get it from and a more kind of detailed description about it. And uh, what else? Oh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click subscribe, please. I'm trying to get a bunch of subscribers so I can get my own URL. I'm tired of having this URL with all these random letters. So please subscribe to the channel. Um, and again, check out the blog post. And I will see you next time on the first installment of All New October. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.